Hi, I'm Angela from EmpowerCrystals.com and I make healing crystal jewellery. Today we're going to be doing a pick a card reading for July 2021. And we've got these three piles um, for you to concentrate and pick on. If that's the type of reading that you do like to see, or if you do like to learn about crystals and you enjoy crystal healings, please do consider subscribing as I post up three times a week on all this type of content. And if you want to buy any of the crystals in the form of jewellery, please do pop over to EmpowerCrystals.com and have a browse. Okay, so let's go through the piles. So pile one, we have Citrine and Celestite. Pile two is yellow calcite and double terminated quartz. And this is a rather beautiful one. And the third one is a double aquamarine. So the third pile must really need aquamarine at this time. So if you want to concentrate on those and have a think on which ones you want to um, choose and I shall take away the ones that we're not going to be using at the moment and begin. I'll pop the links in the description and I'll add chapters so you can just click on the pile you choose. So the first one we've got the citrine and the celestite. So the first card is the magician. And this is, I manifest perfectly what I desire. So this is all about um, dynamic changes. The magician brings energy to any situa situation you've got. Um, it's saying that now is a time for action. If you're um, talking about a specific situation, it's also a time when you will receive lots of messages and offers and unawaited and also long awaited news. So if it's something that you've um, been trying to um, manifest, I don't know, like a move of house or um, a change of job, then this is the month that you're going to actually hear something or something's going to come up um, and you're going to get an opportunity that you need to act on. Um, the other thing of this card, it also in brings increased inspiration um, and that will lead you to bring your dreams closer to reality. And this can be both in personal and also in your work life. Basically, every area of your life speeds up with this card. Um, so you might, may even find yourself travelling and this could link in again, as I was saying, with the house, with a house move or a job move. So not necessarily travelling for um, a holiday to a different part of the country or abroad. So there's quite a lot going on with that card. And the citrine brings in increased energy as well. So it's a good card, um, stone to work with when you have this card. And it also increases your optimism, um, your prosperity, abundance, and it also increases good communications. So it's a great stone to work with at this time. Um, and it works with the solar plexus chakra, uh, which will increase your personal power and vitality. And it also helps you to manifest your dreams. So it's a great positive manifestation stone and will really bring things into your life. Now, the next card we have is Mutable Moon. And this is also talking about change, that change is happening. Um, but as the card says, nothing is set in stone. So it's basically saying you can still direct what's going to happen. So you, whilst you're, you are going to get change, um, it's still a you're still able to direct what that's going to what's going to happen with that um, situation and what you you can manifest. Um, it also means on a slightly negative note, well, it depends on how you look at it, that the situation that you're thinking about is still unstable. But this will settle with a bit of time and you just need to stay in there and um, be, be adaptable 
and that's the key to success so this is just telling you just go with the flow and adapt yourself with the changes and the final card is spirit guides and this is saying that your guides are trying to communicate with you at the moment and in order to receive these messages you must be open to receiving the messages you may find people offer their help and it's important to accept it use celestites and I'll just get out the stone so you can see so use celestite to help you communicate with your spirit guides and this will help you keep open to the messages and the types of messages you may receive from your spirit guides they can be messages that come in dreams like um, seem like omens they'll be much brighter colors or they'll seem significant that's usually the sign that you've dreamt something that's significant that's a message you may also see repeating number sequences so it's important to look up what those numbers mean you may also see animal appear so it's like a spirit animal um, appearances in your life and then it's important to see what properties those animals are bringing into your life to see what messages they may be bringing so um, you can both with citrine and with celestite you can meditate with them but you can also just wear them to bring the properties into your life so let's go on to pile two so pile two is yellow calcite and this beautiful double terminated quartz although it's got lots of terminations but it's the fact that it's got two terminations on either end that it regulates the energy that's the important thing and the first card of these is the page of wands and this is saying I'm always open to good news and this is telling you that messages and news are coming soon um, so you may get some good news and this news will help to advance a situation uh, it often represents uh, work situations or that people will be in touch soon that you've been waiting for their answers to certain things um, yellow calcite if you work with that it will help to increase guidance and wealth and confidence so it's good to bring in these this good news um, working with uh, calcite so it encourages all the news to come your way the second card we have is the waxing crescent moon and this is saying have faith in your dreams and this is all about a situation that's still developing and it's saying don't give up on that situation it's still in a flux and things are still working towards the end so um, you're not to worry you're still to just to keep on working towards your goal and a positive outcome will happen in the end so if you look at these two together it's one saying that you're going to get news and things are going to start to progress but it's saying um, the second card saying things may still be slow and slower than you want so just just have that faith that things will work out in the end and the third card is balance and this has the double terminated quartz linked with this card and this is talking sort of a bit more of a warning really and they're saying you need to take a much more balanced approach and you need to balance your masculine and feminine side a lot more so you need to not be over emotional and or over analytical so you need to have both a little bit of emotion and a little bit of logic in the way things are working out at the moment to win out in the end um, you can actually use the double terminated quartz to help you with this and you can meditate with this and you can 
use it to help regulate your energy as um, the two dermat terminations help you to receive and to release energy so it's really good for just balancing out all those energies in your body so if you meditate or again if you wear these it will bring in the qualities that you need at this time to work through things so to sum up with this you going to get some good news but things are still going to be slow and you need to have a very balanced approach you need to have a little bit of logic a little bit of um emotional intelligence to keep this going and not to be over emotional with this or to ignore your emotions and be over analytical you just need a bit of balance for things to work out but things will work out in the end so that's the end of pile two so the next one is the double aquamarine so the first one of this is the two of cups and this says i am worthy of the deepest kind of love and this card is all about love and partnerships it can represent a new partner that comes into your life or a new friend where you have an instant connection and it can represent even past life connections. This card um, can also represent positive supportive friends and colleagues who act as a team um, for you all to achieve a shared goal. And this can be at work where you work and you are successful at something and it may be that you get a good bonus out of it. There's something really good that comes out at the end of it or maybe a promotion or the personal project even that your friends help you complete something that you've been trying to complete for ages. The aquamarine related to this card it helps increase emotional wisdom and truth. So this is um, a good one to work with when you get the Two of Cups. The second card is a little bit of um, at an odds to the first card. And I'm going to interpret it with the two cards together, really. And this says nothing will come of this situation. And this usually is saying that relationships will come to nothing or a situation that you've been worrying about will come to nothing. So if we're saying that it's to do with relationships, then the new relationships that you form with the Two of Cups are maybe for a specific project to help you to finish it. Maybe particular work colleagues that come in specifically for that project. Or it could be that there's a situation that's um, going on that's separate to that and it's actually you're worrying about nothing. So it could be something that's actually carrying on sort of like a subplot in your life and it's actually something that you've been niggling about. But in actual fact, this card is saying that um, it's nothing to worry about and it will come good in the end. And this card also comes in that, um, that you will achieve your goals, um, but there's sort of nothing at the end of it, if that mean, makes sense. So you will achieve something, but it will be just that goal. It won't lead on to anything sometimes. That's another meaning of this. And the third one is compassion which is also aquamarine card and this card comes in when you need to have compassion about the situation and this may be in relation to what you're working on or these new people that come into your life and you need to have to com compassion to see that bigger picture um, rather than judging someone's actions they may actually have very good reasons behind them um, and if you look at them with compassion, so you may be getting angry with the way someone's acting, but in actual fact, there's a very good reason behind it. It's just you don't know it. So you just need to act and with compassion and try to see the bigger picture. And in actual fact, you'll see their actions have got nothing to do with you. It's something that's going on in their life. And um, in actual fact, 
it's it they are working with you it's just their actions are to do with something stressful that's going on in the background and working with that marine that increases your compassion again and it also helps you to see the truth of the situation so as with those two cards they're linked with that if wearing aquamarine or meditating with aquamarine will help to bring those qualities into your life so i hope you enjoyed that and that they these mean something if they did please do click the like and subscribe and let me know if they resonated I hope you have a wonderful day and I hope to see you next time. Thanks for watching. Bye.